Hey guys, I wanted to make a short video to show you a couple things I did to my CNC in case you guys own a, you know, a 6040 CNC or, you know, maybe a, a 3040 or 3020 or even the 6090 CNC, the Chinese uh, CNC machines. Uh, there is a, a few things I actually changed to try to improve the rigidity of my machine and fix a couple issues I had. One of the issues I had was that my uh, X axis, you know, in my gantry was actually, it had like a slight bend towards the back. So when I used to put, you know, the spindle touching with a straight edge on one corner and move it to the other side, it will actually only touch the two points over here, but right in the middle, it used to have like a, a 16 or a little more than a 16 of a gap. So it used to go, let's say in a slight curve, you know, back and forward. So what I did was remove the original front panel that was here, which is this one. And it's, it's kind of, you know, kind of thin aluminum. So yeah, it's actually, you know, a little flimsy and you can actually flex it. So what I did was, you know, put this uh, piece of a uh, half an inch aluminum, five inches uh, height, and I think 19 and three quarters or just a little bigger than 19 and three quarters to actually bend you know, my linear rails a little forward, just, you know, just that, let's say that's 16, you know, so now it actually, now when I actually put, you know, my spindle from one corner to run it to the other, you know, to the other point, it actually, you know, it, you know, it touches, you know, all the way in the straight edge. So now it's actually, you know, straight or at least it's, you know, really, really close. Uh, the other thing that I needed to do was that there is, let's say, a flaw on the CNC, on this type of, you know, design on with the CNC, that my linear rails don't got no extra support. So it's only, you know, the 20 millimeter, uh, you know, rod that's actually supporting, you know, the whole X axis, I mean, the C axis. So if I if I just put my hand at the top, you can see it. It actually, you know, moves down and the same thing. If I push it, you know, a little back, it actually moves, you know, back and forward. And I'm not putting, you know, a lot of pressure. And I'll show you with this, with a digital caliper, you know, how much it actually moves back and forward. Just to, so you can see, you know, and then I'll show you what I had, you know, what I did to improve, you know, the rigidity of my C axis. So right here, I'm gonna tilt my axis back and forward just a little bit. I'm not gonna put, you know, excessive amount of pressure, just, you know, a little bit of pressure so you can see how much she actually moves. So I'm gonna tilt it, you know, just put my hand at the top of the spindle and not really push it down, just, you know, a little bit of pressure and I'll see how much it actually moves. So just putting my hand down, we can see that it's, you know, 0 0.02, you know, going down. And then if I push it just a little to the back, it's 0 0.028. 0 0.20, you know, 28, you know, going back. So it's quite a bit, you know, you know, the moving, tilting, you know, the back and forward. So now if I actually put, you know, a little more pressure, not, you know, I'm not hanging myself from the top or, or pushing it, you know, with all my weight, just a little more, we can see you actually, it's 0.35, let's say which, you know, it's it's a lot, you know, when you want to get a good finish, 
and your you know your c-axis while it's moving is actually you know tilting back and forward you're not gonna get you know a good you know surface finish so the same thing if i'm gonna push it back with just a little more you know pressure we can see that it's around the same almost you know point point three you know point zero three per you know going you know towards the back so now i'll show you what i did to improve you know the rigidity of my you know my c-axis so here's what i actually end up doing was actually adding a little linear rail to the back of it and i tried to attach it you know to the piece of the aluminum that's actually in the back and the two arms and then attach the linear you know the linear block to the piece that's over here at the you know at the top you know if i were to actually make it again i actually attach it to one of the corners which I'm, i think i'm gonna end up kind of moving it to the middle so try to attach if you're gonna do something similar try to attach it to the middle so you actually holds it you know right in the middle the only thing that i have right now is that when i you know put it right here in the corner it makes my trimming of my spindle a little hard because it's actually tilting a little bit you know to the side so i attach the little you know the li the linear rail that i had in the back to the piece at the top of my c-axis so now i'll show you you know when i actually put some pressure you know to try to tilt it back and forward how much it actually moves so right now i'm gonna try to tilt it you know down and then i'm gonna try to tilt it you know towards the back so if i just you know put my hand at the top kind of like before i actually get you know almost 0 0.00 you know you know point zero 0.01 or point zero zero 0.009 just by putting my hand at the top you know with a little pressure not not a lot and now if i try to push it towards the back it's around the same it's point zero 0.01 you know towards the back and the same almost the same thing towards you know towards the front now if i try to put you know extra pressure to try to see you know how much she actually moves then let's see it's actually point zero let's call it point zero two try to try to tilt it forward with you know more pressure not i'm not hanging myself but you know more pressure and let's see towards the back i mean around the same really 0 0.02 you know 0 0.02 back and forward and that's i'm not gonna say that that make it you know perfect because you know one linear rail in the back attached to one little piece of thin aluminum and you know like i said most likely the bearings on my uh, x-axis is actually maybe they're not that great you know there might be there might be a little play and that's why i actually see you know that extra little play but that's you know that actually you know did you know a little bit you know before we were getting 0 0.035 you know when i try to put a you know a little more pressure versus uh 0 0.02 you know so that actually made it a little more rigid not like i said not perfect but it actually it actually helps when i have to do surface finish or when i do pockets it actually you know looks a little more smooth and there you know like little bumps when sometimes i used to see you know like little ridges or you know somehow some the, the bit actually cut deeper in one spot than the other one even though you know the g code you know it's to make it all flat so that was the only things 
that I actually did to my CNC to, you know, to try to improve the rigidity and um, to make it a little better, let's say, you know, but overall this, the 6040 CNC or, you know, the Chinese uh, 3040, uh, 6040 or maybe even the 6090s, they're good machines for hobby or maybe doing some prototypes. They're not really meant for, um, you know, production runs or something like that. So that's the only things I wanted to show you today. Hopefully some of the things that you saw today, you know, help you, you know, maybe even make a decision on choosing a 6040 CNC or, you know, trying to fix yours in case you have something similar, you know. So thank you guys for watching.